Hello, and welcome to a, another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Uh, today it's really not an amplifier repair. What I'm going to do is kind of go over the process of working on the fans in the tar amps amplifiers. I have been seeing a lot of amplifiers come in with fans that are disconnected. And if there's one thing that I absolutely advise against doing is disconnecting the fans in these amplifiers. They're in there for a reason. Uh, sure, they get noisy, uh, they start to slow down, they make a lot of chatter. That's one of the biggest complaints about these uh, particular style of amplifiers is the sound of the fans. Well, these fans are not 100% maintenance free. Uh, some may consider them disposable, just take it out, replace it with a new one, and, uh, and be, on their, be on their way with it. But sometimes these fans, if you look for these fans, they sometimes can be extremely expensive for what they are. They're overseas. You don't know what speed you're getting. You just, you don't know, uh, you don't know the product that you're getting. I do know these very, very well. Uh, these are the OEM fans that come in the tar amps amplifiers. And it's true, they get noisy. Uh, they become a headache. They just, uh, they're annoying. They can become a very annoying. But what I do is I restore these uh, fans as long as the stator itself is still functional. The board in here, these fans can go on and on and on until you literally wear out the shaft far enough to where there's too much play between the bushing and the shaft. But nine times out of 10, they uh, they usually gum up and seize before they wear out. So that's what I'm going to do for this fan here today is I'm going to clean it up and get it back into service. So the first thing is, is on any fan that comes in is I verify the condition of the fan. And this fan here isn't in that bad of a condition. It's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of gumming up on the bushing, so it's got a little bit of a rattle to it. So sometimes when it starts up, it'll just vibrate really, really bad. But once we're done doing what we do with these, it will uh, be. At top speed, it'll be as quiet as it, as quiet as ever. And the cool thing is, is you don't need any fancy tools to do this. So, Q-tip, some isopropyl alcohol, and I just put some isopropyl alcohol around the edge of the sticker here, and I get my needle nose tweezers right up underneath that sticker, and just start a corner on the sticker. And that isopropyl alcohol will get right up underneath that and free up the adhesive on the sticker. It's important to try to either keep the sticker or uh, utilize Captain Tape when you're done if you uh, weren't able to save the uh, sticker. But once you get the uh, isopropyl alcohol up underneath the sticker, that sticker will slide right off. And what you have is a hole right in the middle. And you can see just the uh, shaft end and the retainer of the rotor. It's really simple. Put, peel the sticker off. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to, I just take a blunt tool. This is what a T25 
uh, tool and I will just tap. Oh, actually, hold on. We have a retainer bar here. That the fan's not going to go anywhere with that retainer bar in there. So in my videos, when you hear me say it just needs some fan work, this is what I do, is I take the fan out. As long as it doesn't have any broken blades, as you can see in this one here, has several uh, broken blades on it. But the stator itself is still good. So I keep that and ditch the uh, fan section of it. So I'll use my little T25 in there and I'll just tap it. I'll just tap that right on out. And then the fan pops out. So you have two sections here. This section here, uh, I just do a little bit of cleanup on the inside. So I will grab my Q-tip that I just used on the last fan. Give it a couple swirls on the inside here just to clean it up. Just do a visual inspection. Usually, the, these are good to go. Nothing much needs to be done on these, uh, except for, well, when we, up until you uh, get ready to put it back together. So then I take uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you can use either the bottle. The I have I have three different forms of isopropyl alcohol. I have seventy percent, ninety, the ninety one percent, and then I have my uh, MG chemical spray, which is a ninety nine point nine percent isopropyl alcohol. It's very very. Uh, one of the purest isos that I can find. So what I do is I just fill the cup. And what we're after is we're just after this little bushing that's in here. And I'm just going to use that isopropyl that I sprayed into that cup section there. And let it do its work on the existing thick grease. These bushings, they don't, uh, the strange thing is, is they don't require a really thick grease uh, to, uh, to function. Uh, in reality, I would like to see more of a graphite used in these uh, particular style of fan setups. Because it's not a sealed bearing, it's a, it's a bushing. And inevitably, every fan uh, will eventually stop working. The grease in it gets too, too gummed up, and that's what uh, that's what comes out of the grease itself. It's more of a yellow, greenish looking stuff. So we're just doing our best to clean up the grease from inside the fan blade itself. And you'll hear that this bushing is relatively free on the shaft now. And that's exactly what we're after. You can hear it. That's what we're looking for. And then I just make sure all the isopropyl alcohol is cleaned up from with, within the fan section itself here. Use a dry Q-tip to make sure I got all the grease out of it. And then I just lightly spray just a little bit of uh, CRC in it. Just a little touch. And then we just slide it back together. Quiet as can be. So that's that. Really, you just slide it back together until it bottoms out. Squeeze it, bottoms out. Check the fan. 
sounds good and now the trick is is we just got to get this uh sealed back up on the back which is really easy just get yourself another clean q-tip make sure it's uh free of all grease and oils and clean the surface let the isopropyl alcohol dry grab the sticker that you just peeled off the the adhesive is still there it's sticky because once the isopropyl alcohol evaporates that sticky part is uh, back to normal and then I just place it back on the fan now now let's see what it sounds like There it is. And that rattle that it was making is absolutely gone. It's amazing once you clear out the old stiff grease in these fans that these just come back to life. Simple as that. So don't disconnect your fans, guys. And if, if you turn your uh, tar amps amplifier on and you can't hear the fans, Please do yourself a favor. Don't run the amplifier. Uh, turn it off. Disconnect it. Send uh, send it in if you are uh, not comfortable of uh, of main, you know main, doing some maintenance work on fans. And uh, give me give me a call. Contact me. I'd be more than happy to take care of these fans for you. That's what I wanted to cover today for your guys' video on the tar amps fan servicing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and we'll catch you on the next one.